So I actually don't have anywhere to go, but I wanted to give you guys an update of how I've been wearing the three in one half wig. Now, underneath my um, cap, <laughs> this is how I've been wearing my hair for about two and a half weeks. If you wanna see how I got these twists and how I've been maintaining them. And your girl started to put braids in them at the ends. So they last longer instead of rubber bands because there was a whole big debate about rubber bands making the hair and la 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 la. So I got the wig hair and she's just been in her bag from the last time I wore it. Now, a little bit update with this wig. So it does start to do wig stuff, <laughs> meaning, you know, like it starts to get a little bit like knotted like natural hair and frizzy and stuff uh, and this is how i wear it with my protective style so i don't have to really worry about it messing up my protective style routine because what i'm gonna do is go like this and boom and that's gonna be blended you won't see right now um i'm actually not even gonna do anything crazy to the hair because this is supposed to be a slap and go kind of like experience my only concern with this wig you see how far in the clips are it has this like flap hair that it gives it a very natural like blended look it's really good however when you start pulling the drawstring really tight Sometimes this kind of like flips back like that on the hair. Instead of laying flat like this, it starts to lift up like that. And I'm like, oh, damn it. Like, because the clips are so far in, which helps with the blending. But when it comes to actual like use and using it in practice and wearing it, it does affect how the wig, how flat it lays and how it stays. Like the clip is like in my scalp, in not going but this part has the ability to go whoop. <laughs> and i've noticed that it has happened a few times if i let's say try to shift my hair or whatever like it, it flips up i'm like what the hell i don't know i haven't figured out how to rectify it. you can use maybe like a bobby pin or something but that's my only concern when it comes to the wig grab a little rubber band and put it in you can do this with braids or twists you can braid it down I'm just gonna put it like that so it's back there underneath. Spread this out a little bit to cover my little edge. And then I'm gonna take the hair down. And I am good to go. I am good to go. And now to blend this a little bit more, I'm just gonna pull this up a little bit to give the front a little bit of height to go with the rest of the hair. And we're almost done. This is a twist out. I did a twist out and I've been wearing it as a twist out. It's secure, it's on. The curls are looking cute, but we're gonna revive this a little bit with some wah tea. Let me take my glasses, cause... And I'm just gonna zhuzh. And uh, we're good to go. We are literally done. Hair is done. I also do suggest cut your wig to the shape you like. I didn't cut this because I like the shape of it already. And that's it. Like, look at the, the quality of this hair is really good. The quality of the hair is good. The shape of the wig is good. The size of the wig is good. The, the way the blend is made, the way the, 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 the actual construction of the wig is good. Um, I think this is something that will last for a while. I think the hair will also last for a while. I am not certain if you're able to straighten this wig and it, to be honest, it's not really on my radar to try to straighten this wig because I wanted a curly, coily, kinky textured wig and I love this. I love this. I love how easy it is to apply. I love how easy it is to actually style the hair, the actual curls of the hair and one of my favorite things is that I can wear this as an afro textured wig. I could wear it as a twist out curl. I could actually wear this as a wash and gold curl. So it's very, very versatile in terms of the type of curl pattern I can use like this. It's good. It's good. It's good. So the link is in the description box. If you want to pick it up, you have a discount. Everything's there. And um, yeah, go get yourself this wig because it's nice. Girl, it's pretty. It's nice. And for, for people like me who we like styling but we really don't like styling this is it 
This literally took me less than five minutes to do. All I had to do is take out my hair, pull it back, and I got a style to go on, you know? And if you really wanna be extra, you can sleek it down, but I ain't doing all that because I know the moment I take this off, my twists are going back up and I still have my protective style. My hair is protected underneath while I still am able to wear such a beautiful curly wig. Like one of my things, one of, my, one of the things I actually dislike about protective styling for length retention and just like lifestyle habits is moments like this where I'm like, I want to be able to wear my curls, but also I want to be able to not have to do my hair to go out, to come back to, oh God, I have to go put it back in another protective style. This gives me the best of both worlds where I can literally keep my protective style underneath, do a little zhuzh in the front and still have a beautiful style to go out on the town when I feel like it. I don't go out on the town, but you know what I mean? If I'm ready to go out to a party or whatever, I can actually wear something that looks like my hair. It might not be, but my hair is fully protected underneath. And once I am done with that event, I can come home and go back to my normal routine of twists. I, I literally get the best of both worlds with this wig. Love it. So. Yeah.